guys, it's your girl Kelsey Janae. Welcome to my YouTube video. Would you guys like to know how I made these beautiful Halloween inspired glass wine tumblers? Well, if you do, please stay tuned. All right, you guys, firstly, I'm going to be showing you the different items that I'm going to be using to create these tumblers. So of course, first I have the tumblers. I have two of them. And I got them from Dollar Tree, so they were a dollar each. And I like them because at the bottom, I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but they have like this smoky type of look at the bottom. And then I have some rubbing alcohol. And I'm using this in order to clean off the surface of the tumbler before I put the vinyl on there because, of course, I want to get rid of any dirt that'll be on there. I've already cleaned the glasses, actually, but I just want to get rid of any extra dirt that may be on there as well as help. It helps the uh, vinyl to stick to the surface. I have some scissors to cut my vinyl. I have a weeding tool to weed out my vinyl. I also have a tool that would help me as well as my fingers to get the vinyl to stick to the surface of the glass. I have a ruler here. It's hard to see it because it's see-through. And actually, y'all, this ruler, um, it's actually a t-shirt ruler because I make t-shirts as well. Because I'm using this because I can't find my regular ruler for whatever reason. But there's nothing wrong with using what, what, uh, what you have. Um, next, I'm going to be using some just plain white vinyl some leftover as you guys can tell i cut it already but some leftover white vinyl i have some black vinyl just some regular black shiny vinyl that i have here i'm also going to be using this transfer sheet that i have here it's going to help me also to get the vinyl onto the surface of the glass of course i have my cricut cutting board here I have my Cricut Maker as well, as you guys can see. And also, I have this really, really pretty vinyl. It's like a, it's kind of orange. If you look at it a certain way, it's different colors, honestly, but it's more like an orange, so it goes with the Halloween theme. So I'm gonna be using that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so the next thing that I wanna do is I want to create the actual design for the cutout that I'm gonna do, the vinyl cutout that I'm gonna do for the tumblers. So I have Cricut open here and I have it open in a new project on my phone. And I already have a design of what I want the tumblers to look like. I'm just gonna show you how I make them. So for the first one, I'm also gonna put them both on one project so I can just print everything out at the same time since I'm using basically the same colors. So the first one is gonna say more booze, please. And the booze is gonna be spelled like, you know, like my boo or um, like a ghost boo. So first thing I'm gonna do the more and the please, and I want them to be in the same uh, font. So I already know what font I want. So I'm just gonna type it in here. It's called cloud nine. So I just type in more and I want it to be in lowercase. So I'm just gonna make it a little bigger so you guys can see it. And then next, I'm going to add a please, same font, lowercase. And again, just make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. So next one I'm gonna do is the booze and I have that font as well that I want. So I'm just gonna type it in and it's called beef cakes. And I want that to be in uppercase. So there you have it. And I just want them to be, I don't want them to be all centered. So I'm gonna, I want them to be off centered. And the more and the please is gonna be black. Whereas I think I want to be the booze, excuse me to be orange okay so with that that's what I want it to look like and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around a little bit here with the actual wording make sure everything looks right next what I want to do is I want to add an image and here on search I'm just going to type in ghost and see what they have available. 
And I think I like this one. I'm going to make it white anyway, so I'm just going to insert it here. And I'm going to turn it and make it a little smaller because I want it to be next to the booze. And I am going to have <clears throat> the color is going to be white. So as you guys can see there, that's what it's basically going to look at look like. And then I'm going to just look at the layers here. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just highlighting everything here because what I'm going to do is click edit and I'm going to unlock the sizing and I've already measured my glass so I want it to be two and a half by two and a half and I'm just going to lock, lock the sizing back in I'm just going to make the screen bigger so you guys can still see it and I measured the glass already as you guys can already see I had the uh, my ruler and I used it to measure the glass and I know this is the sizing that I would want for the actual vinyl to be cut out so it'll fit and not just like completely wrap around the glass so I want you to be able to look at it from one angle and see it so that's the first one so I'm gonna go ahead and make the design for the next glass and that one's going to say drink up witches with a bat on it and a cute little witch so for this one I already know again what I want the font to look like. So I'm gonna add some text and just type it in. And it's, it's called Chop Come Light. I guess that's how you say it. And then I want this to be, you know, typical uppercase, lowercase. Drink up, which is, oh, put an exclamation point. So that's what that looks like. Let me make the screen a little bit smaller so you can see it. Almost flipped it and didn't mean to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the alignment. I want it to be centered like that. And I don't know, I might change the coloring of just the word up to that pretty orange that I show you guys. I'm not sure. But for right now, I'm just designing it. So next I'm gonna add an image. And I want to add a bat. Then I'm going to choose this bat here. That looks really cute. And it's pretty darn big. So let's see. I'm going to make it smaller. <laughs> okay. Still smaller. Like I want to. I'm going to turn it this way. No. Let's turn it this way. I don't know. Let's see. I might change it. But let's see. I think it looks good right there. And then I'm going to add a witch. See what they have here. Hmm, maybe that's not specific enough. Let's say a sexy witch. Let's see if they have anything good for me. like this one I'm just gonna move it over here make it smaller and let's see if we can play around with the way that it looks um, I'm gonna flip it yeah flip it horizontally see if we can make it just a little bit bigger but not touching anything maybe got to be a little bit smaller let's see okay so this is how the second glass will look and now that I have everything highlighted of course I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the first one I'm going to unlock the width and the height and I'm going to make it two and a half by two and a half I'm going to lock that back in 
So as you can tell, I mean, the, the fonts and everything are different, but you can see that they are absolutely the same size. But then after that, I just click make it. All right, you guys, so I have my first vinyl, which is like I said, that really pretty holographic looking vinyl, the orange, and it has other different colors in here, but when you look at it, like any specific way you have, it's a little red, a little orange. But I have it on my cut board here on my Cricut. I have my machine set on custom, um, but on my phone, I have it set on premium vinyl. So I'm going to feed the board into the machine Okay, and now I'm just going to hit the Cricut Cut button so I can get started. And it's preparing. And now it's getting ready to cut. Once it's done, I'm going to show you guys the finished product. After that, I'm going to do the black vinyl and the white vinyl, and I'll come back. All right, you guys, so I have all of my items, you know, cut out here from my Cricut machine. It's kind of hard to see. You can see, like, the little up. I haven't weeded them out yet, but I'm going to weed them out, and then I'm going to add them to the transfer paper. All right, you guys, so I have my glass ready. I weeded everything out, put everything on the transfer paper. So now I am ready to add the actual design to the glass. And I've already cleaned the glass off. I washed my hands, cleaned it off with white alcohol, dried it completely. So now I'm ready to add. And I'm just placing the, the design here where I want it, it to be on the actual glass. So as you guys can see here, I've already just placed it on there. I'm just gonna press it with my fingers. I can also use my tool, but it's easier because it's a, you know, it's not a flat surface, it's rounded, you know, it's glass. So it's easier to kind of just apply a little pressure while I hold the glass with my hand and using my finger. So now that I think that I have enough pressure on there and place it on there enough, I'm just going to pull the transfer paper off slowly to make sure it sticks to the glass. And there you have the first word on the glass. So I'm going to come back when I am finished and show you guys the finished product. All right, you guys, I am back and I am completely done with both of the glasses. So these are the final projects. So this is the first one here. It says more booze, please. Isn't that cute, look at the little ghost? It's so cute. So that's that one. And then here's the second one. And it says drink up, which is has a little witch on the back in the back and as I, you guys can tell from the first part of this video where I was actually creating it I did decide to go ahead and change the color of the word up so it can just give it a little color I did use that holographic looking vinyl where as you can tell when I move it like this you can kind of see green orange all that but it's still more orange than anything as you can see it on this on the booze so I think these got these um, tumblers turned out really, 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 really cute. And I hope you guys are able to try this. It's a very easy DIY project and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfectly lined up the way that you created on Cricut uh, on uh, using the your Cricut design. 
So it's just, it's so cute. And, and I'm gonna absolutely use these and enjoy some wine in them actually. I'm not really like a hard liquor type of drinker. I am no, don't like whiskey, all that stuff. Tequila, all that stuff. So I just want to thank you guys so very much for watching my video. I hope that you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And when you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so when I post a video, you guys will be notified. Deuces. Hey. Are you a new or experienced entrepreneur or even just an awesomely creative person? Do you find yourself frequently needing to jot down your goals, tasks, and even your daily to-do list? Well, I've created the perfect journal for you. The journal is called A Goal Worth Fighting For and it is a 40-week goal and task journal just for you where you can capture your weekly goals, targets. You can jot down some notes and you can also have a weekly to-do list. And in the back of the journal, there's a blank calendar, a monthly calendar for you, where you can jot down ideas and things to do as well. This journal is provided to you on Amazon and it will be linked below.